Lynch's killer go as far as burying an entire car to cover their tracks. Bish's sister is working with a private investigator who has received several tips that a car similar to one spotted by Molly Bish's mom is now buried at a campground. As Jim Smith explains tonight, that's where a search will take place later in the week. And we are very close. We are very, very, very close. Heather Bish will never give up. She'll never stop looking for answers in the murder of her younger sister, Molly, abducted from the shore of Cummins Pond in June of 2000. A 16 year old lifeguard murdered by a suspect who has never been caught. I um, miss my sister today as much as I did, you know, the day she was gone. Um, it, it, it's sort of like, you know, learning to live without a limb. Now, a new effort to find Molly's killer. Thursday, a criminologist will search a nearby campground with ground penetrating radar after a tip that a car connected to the case might be buried there. A car seen by Molly's mother, driven by a suspect, she said gave her an uneasy feeling. My mom saw the car the day before she disappeared, but we have um, information that the car was seen in the area um, by a couple different people. We're led to believe it's hidden somewhere. Is it in someone's garage or a barn or, or buried? The Bish family is not alone. When close friends come to the pond, they too hope for the case to be solved one day. Oh, it would mean the world, you know. My best friend's little sister was abducted and murdered here in our small little quaint town, and I've watched it affect their family. 17 years is a very long time, but for the friends and family of Molly Bish, sometimes it can feel like yesterday. Now they're hoping high-tech detective help can somehow bring an end to a tragic mystery. In Warren, Jim Smith, WBZ News.